Hello and welcome to this Microsurgical Endo Institute tutorial. My name is Dr. Alan Ali Nesse, and I'd like to share with you a case of obturation using the bioceramic sealer of the maxillary first premolar. This case shows a large distal decay coronally. The tooth is vital at this time, or partially vital, but symptomatic. The radiograph appears like a strange looking tooth. However, there is not much of significance you can tell from the straight buccal shot. An angled radiograph, which is the routine thing that we should do in all cases, shows a little bit of a stranger anatomy. That the tooth does not quite separate into a distinct form. Therefore, following the axis, a preliminary isolation is done, so all decay is removed, and the two buccal, a buccal and a palatal orifice are located. At this point, the tooth appears like a normal uh, tooth. At higher magnification, even, the tooth appears that way. However, because of the sus uh, suspicion of a strange buccal anomaly in this particular tooth based on the preoperative radiograph, the further exploration is done in the buccal root. And as you can see here, further exploration a little further down the canal uh, is showing us a buccal mesiobuccal and a distobuccal uh, bifurcation into two separate roots. Now, once this is located, final isolation is done with opal dam, so all areas are cleared and a septic area uh, and seal is maintained, and then canals are scouted using uh, or your smile files. Uh, after scouting, the um, end of sequence 04 taper preparation uh, files are used to instrument the canals. Here we end up finally uh, finishing the master apical file with size 2004 on the buckles and a 3504 on the paddle. Now, I do prefer a much larger size than 2004. This is not a routine case, however, because of the thinness of these mesiobuccal and the distal buccal canals. We end up fitting the appropriate uh, matching endosequence gutta percha cones. And here I um, would like to show you the obturation technique using the bioceramic sealer. So bioceramic sealer is directly injected into the paddle canal and then into the mesiobuccal canal. As I've mentioned in the previous tutorials and videos, this injection technique takes a little bit of practice to master so that the right amount of sealer is actually introduced into the canals. The right amount of sealer does not go all the way down to the apex, but it should go about three quarter of the way down. Uh, here I decided that I'm going to add a little bit more sealer. So the sealer is added to the paddle and also to the mesiobuccal and the mesiolingual canals. And then the corresponding previously fitted uh, parallel and buccal gutta percha cones are slowly inserted. The insertion technique is gentle and yet firm so that the sealer material that has been injected and is inside the canal can move down with the gutta percha cone. The concept is so that the gutta percha cone acts as a condenser and carries down this uh, particular sealer down with it. The distal buckle uh, gutta percha cone is inserted as well. I'd like to emphasize that a size 2004 is generally not an acceptable size and it is usually too small for my taste for a master apical file. However, 